Well, some of the nominees have been speaking to Joy News on what they are bringing on board. Uh, let's start with the Volta Regional Minister designate, Dr. Archibald Lecher. I think we need to build bridges with the people. We need to, to, to work harder and to make sure that the people understand what our party stands for and for them to understand that we are Ghanaians like they are and uh, therefore we should, they should partner us uh, for, for development. Your party in the run up to the elections promised to create another region out of the region. There's also a talk of uh, a harbour, especially in the Keta area. Yes. How are you hoping to ensure that this comes to fruition? No, it is a commitment that we made to the people of the Volta region. And as regional minister, I will have to ensure that we live up to our, our promise to the people. And beyond these two that I spoke about, the region, you know, employment opportunity is quite low. What is your main objective in transforming the economic potentials of the region? Yeah, I think, um, uh, you know, our, uh, uh, our manifesto promise of one district, uh, one factory, is um, the policy that we are going to use to, to create jobs for the young people in, in, our, in, 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 our, in our region. The Northern Regional Minister Designate uh, also joins us here. Congratulations once again, sir. Thank you. Thank you. And you are heading to a very volatile region, the Northern region, and the President was clear yes. uh, in his you know, comments that, I mean, potential conflict areas, Yendi, Bimbila, Bumprugu, you have to ensure that these things are resolved so that next time when we come here, it will be success stories that we will be telling. What is the way forward in addressing some of these issues? Yes, one of the way forward in getting solutions to the conflict challenges in Northern region in particular has to do with even selecting me as a young person. You realize that in most cases, the people they mobilize who have the energy to come out to cause confusion, they use the youth. And that is why they have picked me to be a representative of the young people, people who have the energy and the blood to come out to demonstrate. We want to see and demonstrate to them that young people, too, if you reduce yourself to good manners, you can be picked to even represent the government, represent your people at the national level so that you can be able to bring social economic development interventions to them. Apart from that, I am somebody who is born and bred and lived in northern region throughout my life. My background is development studies, and I have been able to learn the theory and the practical aspect of identifying developmental challenges of community. One of the challenges is a conflict. That is what people are looking at, Northern region. But much as we have this conflict, we also have very huge potentials in Northern region. So if we are able to get investors to be able to come out to turn their potentials into interventions, factories, industry, when people are engaged and they have very good jobs, very good businesses doing, I am telling you, nobody will want to come out to fight. One word from uh, Mr. Bugin Abu. You have confidence that uh, uh, Salifu would deliver on the many promises we've made to the people of the northern region? Yes, because I have confidence I recommended him to the president. And he, I am also going to work with him closely. There is nothing, there will be no conflict anymore in the northern region. I'm assuring you. We have identified that there's no need conflict. We should talk, talk of po poverty, jobs, you know. When there are jobs, there are money in your pocket, why do you want to go for conflict? And uh, let's speak to the Bonahafo Regional Minister Designate, uh, Mr. Asuma Chairman, whom I've known personally for several years. Congratulations, finally. Uh, uh, you've earned your spots. Are you ready for the challenge ahead? Uh, thank you so much. I'm so grateful to all media practitioners, the MPP as a party, the President of the Republic of Ghana. Uh, the challenges ahead of us are challenges that we are well convinced and settled in mind. We are so certain that these challenges, these challenges can be dealt with in a very perfect manner. Because this is not the first time that the MPP is coming into government. We did it under President Kufuor's era, and we believe under Nana Adodankwa Akufuado, too, we can do.
Why do I say this? Because we have men that have the skill, we have men who are not corrupt, we have men that are very competent, who are prepared to discharge the responsibilities bestowed on them. Uh, Western Regional Minister Designate, uh, Dr. Kokofi, uh, who's already speaking to the media. I'm sure that it is done. Well, and I know is that, again, uh, the creation of the Western North. Yes. Many people are actually saying that, well, it is not a good thing to do, though the president has mentioned that. What are your responses? It's that? absolutely a good thing to do. People do not understand. And when you take our history, the history of MPP and its antecedents, there was a time when we were even dabbling with federalism. But it wasn't because we wanted to go our own different ways, but we believe that power resides with the people. And we believe in even devolution of power. So power must devolve from the center to the periphery. And this is, Ghana, we have accepted the fact that it's a unitary state. But the constitution allows that we can subdivide the various regions and even indeed combine other regions. In the president's mind, I, I believe that he thinks that the Western region and indeed four other, uh, three other regions can develop if they are subdivided. That will unleash the power that the people at the periphery.